I think uh, the issue of the interns is not for county governments, but I would just like to say one thing that never seems to be very clear. This is a new term of contract. If, for example, you had hired an individual, let's say, for the sake of an analysis, let's say you had hired a driver at 80,000 shillings, and for some reason your income reduced, and now you can only afford a driver for 30,000 shillings, and you advertise and you say, I'm looking for a driver for 30,000. Your new driver, having read the terms of the contract being 30, cannot come and request for a payment of your previous driver, because those two are not in relation. In, in relation, they are not related because it's not the same job. I think we need to communicate clearly that there is no intern who's in place who was earning 200 and then it was reduced. It is a new term of contract based on where we are at as counties, as, as a national government. The counties on our side, we are ready to receive the interns who are willing to come and complete their training so that they can be certified and then they get to the terms that um, have been agreed on which I think um, are not in dispute. I just thought that I would clarify that because sometimes up, up country people think that salaries of doctors have been reduced. These are salaries of those who are still in school and who are just doing practical, so as we used to call them in our days. The internship is practical so that you can get your uh, certificate. And for counties, we are willing and providing the facilities for them to uh, continue getting the training for as long as they are willing to come and do the training. Thank you. Okay.